today we have the next character showcase. Uh, today we got the Slime Golem. Or, uh, Johnny. <laughs> yeah, so this is our little slime friend we have here. So, a slime is another one I've seen a decent amount of people say that they wanted uh, playable in some way. And, as I put in here in the, you know, the little intro bit and all that kind of stuff, there's the the iconic Castle Crashers character, Stanley, uh, who... <laughs> Is uh is quite the quite the cult classic, certified hood classic, you know. So I wanted to make a little slime guy. I wanted to make a playable slime, and I wanted to give him his own little personality. So uh, I gave him a nice golden skull and a, a golden bone leg, which we'll get to later. But yeah, kind of tying into Castle Crashers in a nice way too. With you could consider it the insane mode skull if you'd like to. Um, but yeah, he's, uh, he's a pretty, pretty funky looking guy. I really like him. I like how he, he came out very, very much. Uh, he's got, he's very cute. He's got a little, little shining bits. He's got a little slime head. Uh, he's got the nice slime body and the, I use the, uh, cultist shield because it already has like that kind of goopy texture. And you'll see in his his beefy form where I also use the cultist. And I even use the uh, the cultist body here just so he gave him a nice unique shape while still, you know, kind of having that goopy texture while also um, uh, having some familiar looking stuff. And his slime golem is just the placeholder name. Uh, you could call him the slime cultist. You could call him just the slime. Uh, you know, the Slime Knight, whatever the heck you want to call him, that's fine with me. Uh, but yeah, I gave him the nickname, I gave him the nickname Johnny. This is Johnny right here. <laughs> but, yeah, this pretty much is the, the slimy guy in his full glory. Um, yeah, super, super straightforward kind of design, but I like him a lot. He's got good personality right here. Um, so moving on from his kind of default look, we're going to go to his portrait. And I had a ton of fun making this little portrait. So I did some poison bubbles and some kind of green toxic stuff. Just because, you know, that's a easy association with the slime. I think if he was, once he's officially in the game, he, uh, he'd probably have poison magic just straight up. I think that's the perfect fit for something like the slime, you know, but yeah, I wanted him to have a nice friendly vibe, you know, just a, a happy little guy coming in here, he's got all his bros cheering him on on the sidelines, but uh, yeah, no, he's a, he's a colorful little character, I like him a lot, um, I would just wanted to have someone kind of in like the... I guess the Pink Knight tier of just an incredibly friendly, silly-looking guy. You know, that's the energy I wanted him to have. Because, uh, you know, you look at the slimes. They're cute. They're cute little fellas, you know. So we got to keep that good energy going. But uh, moving on to the Back Off Barbarian sprite. Uh, this one I had some fun with. Uh, I wanted to give him something, something funky here. So he's got a nice little point and pose. Um, and he's holding a behemoth chicken. <laughs> uh, I thought that was fun. I uh, just give him, give him something special on his little sprite here. But, uh, yeah, no, uh, I don't think they usually have, uh, like point and fingers and full hands in the back of rain sprites, but, uh, I had fun giving him a nice little point and pose. So I think that's okay. And this is obviously, these things are not completely finalized. If, you know, I decide to change up some stuff, uh, I will. That's, uh, that's, that's part of what's fun about this, is that this is not the, the final product as much as it's a, uh, a showcase of the design and all the ideas I came up with. The final, you can consider the final version, quote-unquote, when it officially releases through the Steam Workshop and everything. Um, but... Besides, besides that, like, I'll try to keep these designs as polished as possible. 
leading up to whenever the DLC officially drops, which we have no idea, but that's fine. Uh, but yeah, this is his little his little pose. Uh, something funky I came up with. Uh, I quite like it. Um, and uh, yeah, the, oh, these things are always subject to, to change. This this is probably the thing here I, I might go back and update, you know, give it some more uh, Back Off Barbarian stylization or something. But yeah, no, it's not bad. I like it. I like the, I'll definitely keep the chicken, that's for sure. But moving on from that, what happens when a, a friendly, friendly slime gets a hankering for a sandwich? Well, my friend, you get this. Bam! Sorry, my brain farted there. Um, but yeah, <laughs> this is the the beefy slime, and this is where you know you could see the uh, how I reuse the the cult minion. Um, but I wanted to make sure that he got big here, so he's nice and beefy. He's got some great size here compared to the other beefies. I wanted that to come across, and that's something that'll probably um, continue. Onto the official release and everything like that. But yeah, I got a nice, beefy, slimy fella right here. So, yeah, I'm a, I'm a big fan. Big fan of how he came out. And yeah, no, it's a, it's a cute little... I did forget the shield here, but that's okay. Just pretend it's there. Uh, but yeah, I came up with this, you know, nice, big, beefy boy. Uh, I quite like him. But, uh, yeah, this is him. This is his whole deal. I just, want, you know, wanted to uh, throw it together. And, and the cult, the cult minion really was just kind of the perfect template to work off of with this because he's already got all the goop built in because he's, he's made from the evil wizard's, like, magic shit or something. I don't know. It look, he just kind of farts him out in the boss fight and everything. So, um, I assume that's how that works. But... Moving on from that, I did actually give him his own unique weapon, which is the Golden Bone Leg. You know, this is a reskin of the Bone Leg, of course, but um, I kind of wanted to take the, the Bone Leg and just kind of give it a better version, you know? And that's something that I think will be pretty pretty clear here. But, uh, yeah, a nice little, little kick and foot to beat your enemies to death with, you know? Something fun like that. But yeah, this is the Golden Bone Leg. Nice little plus two to strength, plus five to agility, and a plus five or a five percent chance to inflict poison on hit. So, uh, kind of making it another, like the other golden weapons where they're pretty strong in their own right. And I think something like this is pretty cool. You know, a nice little improvement on the the regular bone leg and, you know, getting some association with a character that it really fits for, you know, crazy golden bones found deep in a cave with some slimes in it, and then this fella uh, gets a nice enough body to pick up some weapons and start throwing hands, you know, something nice little fun story like that, um, but yeah, this, this would pretty much wrap it up, this was a pretty short character, in terms of creation and all that kind of stuff, I just like for for some of the um for some of the like existing enemies to a uh, playable character kind of thing. Um, uh, I kind of wanted to keep them in line with their original designs while giving them enough of their own stuff to push them into new territory, you know, original character territory. So. Yeah, I hope uh, I hope you guys enjoy my little slime fella I came up with, and yeah, this one just uh, definitely in terms of like uh, completely fresh stuff. I think this one slipped away from me a little bit, in all honesty. But this is one of those things like I had shown in the hundred subscriber update. I don't mind throwing up little videos of just like random updates on characters that have been shown off and all that kind of stuff I don't mind I definitely think the the slime guy is one I'm gonna go back to uh, for certain aspects of the design but uh yeah besides that this uh, this pretty much wraps it up for this little fella 
Uh, I hope you guys did enjoy it. I hope you like them. And, uh, yeah, if there's anything you recommend, anything you think could be improved upon, any of that kind of stuff, uh, please, don't, you know, comment, uh, throw some likes, subscribe, whatever kind of stuff. Uh, if you like what I'm doing, if you know, if you have an idea of how I could be doing it better, just let me know. I, I want to hear it. So I appreciate you guys, and I hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I hope you will stick around for the next one. Have a good one, guys. Peace. Yeah.